Cassies. Yeah. One body, one mind. One mind, one, mind, one spirit. Bird. One spirit, one mind. Yeah. Gotta make the world feel it. Bird. One body, one mind. Yeah. One mind, one spirit. Bird. One spirit, one mind. Yeah. Gotta make the world feel it. Okay, listen to this. This is all in the Bible what happened to your people, our people. All right, because we're the same people. What, what? What what one thing that Esau do? Cause the the, the, the name of the so-called white people is Esau. Right, right. All right, that's their biblical name. Bring it out. What they do? What what do they do all the time? Divide and what? And conquer. They divide and conquer. So they'll put they'll have a so-called Mexican that's here, right? And and the white man will go talk to him. I've seen this all the time and say, oh, those people shouldn't be over here. They shouldn't be crossing the border. Right. And the Mexican will uh, agree with him. <laughs> the one that's here will agree and uh, talk about his own people. Right. Get out! You've seen that, haven't you? That, that is, we are mentally destroyed. Right. Which, this was their land. <laughs> all right. This is what I have to read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Now, the the uh, natives, the Aztecs, the so-called the so-called uh, Mexicans, which are your God-given name is Issachar. Right. You were already in Americas, right? Your people were already here in America. Right. Before before the Spaniards came, right? Get out. I'm so, so who were here first? Were the white? Were you here before? Were your people here? Yeah. There you go. So you they were you were here first. Your people were here. Here's what happened. Listen. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So, who is that nation of people that came from a far country? Huh? The white people, known as the Spaniards. Okay? The conquistadors. Christopher Columbus. Right. Ponce de Leon. Alright? Those people came from far. That was that nation of people that came, read. From the ends of the earth, as a swift as the eagle flying. Read, so, so the emblem, what's the emblem of the so-called white people? The eagle, all right? American kept, if you look on the dollar, you'll see the eagle. Right. So what is it doing? It's telling you what nation of people came. Right. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because you didn't speak Spanish when they first came. Here's a picture of the ancient artifacts. You spoke Hebrew. Right. Huh? We don't know nowadays. Why? Because the because of colonialism. So during the Renaissance, you ever heard of the Renaissance? That's when the white people start conquering all the dark nations. Alright? So they start creating new languages. Alright? They got rid of everything belonged to the Israelites. Right. That language their culture, their identity, all right? That's what they did. They wiped out the whole language. They even wiped out your whole identity. Right. All right? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce covenants, which shall not regard a person of the old, nor show favor to the young. So they killed young, old, babies, you know the history? They was cutting the babies out the mother's stomach. Right. That's the history. All right? You see that? They were doing this. They were doing this to Issachar. All right? They was doing this to Gad. Right. They was doing this to all the natives of America. Bring it out. Bring it out. Conquering and slaughtering them. And what's that? What, 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 what religion were they putting on them? What religion did they bring to this land? They walked around with the cross while they were slaughtering you guys, right? Right. All right. So, you know now that you're an Israelite from the tribe of what? Issachar. All right. That's what we're doing. We're waking our people up to who they are according to the Bible. Right. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. Then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves.
So read that again. All right. Now why? Hey, 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 sis. Real quick. Hey, uh, hey, big bro. Big bro. Check it out. Let me ask you real quick. Hey, sis. What is the importance of knowing of knowing your nationality? What's going on, big bro? Good. Okay. What? Well, uh, all right. You got a flyer? No, but I. So I'm gonna I'm ask y'all the same question. I know you got the answer, but I ain't trying to keep you long. The, the question is, why is the national, why is knowing our nationality so important? We do agree, but, but and, and, and this, is, this is the thing. We don't need our people to agree. We need our people to repent. Right. We need our people to change. You know? That's the only thing that's going to be able to change anything in this world. That's right. We have to change. See, anybody can agree with me and actually give me a dollar and say, hey, I hope the best for you. And not, not, not that we're asking for money. But the thing is, when when you're in agreement with God, you change. Right. Right? So now, sis, if you don't mind, can, sis, I appreciate you, sis. Thank you. Hey, that's fine. Get, get a brother a flyer so he, so he can reach out to us. Hey, sis, th this, this is the reason why I'm asking, right? Why, why, is, why is our nationality so important? Give me Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 2. Give me Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 2. It's extremely important why our nationality, uh, it's, it's very important to know who you are, where you come from, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it gives you a level of standard, the way you walk, how you carry yourself, you understand what I'm saying, sis? You will see yourself in a different, in a different light. Right? Read that, Isaiah 58 and verse 2. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 2. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my way. You see that? This is the type of people the Black Hispanic and uh, Native Americans used to be. We used to delight in our ways in God. We used to seek God daily. We used to love to know about God, love to keep God's commandments. Right? Read on. As a nation that did righteousness. As a nation that did righteousness. Righteousness only means that we kept God's commandments. That's we used to love doing that, sis. But now when it came to us uh, coming breaking God's commandments, this happened to us. Right. Hernan Cortez came, Ponce de Leon came. Right. We were put into captivity, into slavery. Team. And made to think that we we're Mexicans. Right. Made to think that we we're African Americans. You know? Made to think that we we're Native Americans. And we forgot our God. Right. We forgot how to love our God, yeah. how to praise our God, how to worship our God, how he told us to do it. But today, now we have this. We have that, we have Christianity. Right. And Christianity is a drug in our community. It does nothing for our people. Right. There's no solutions, no changes. You know what I'm saying? You could be a homosexual and come in the, into the church as a homosexual and stay there. The pastor will never correct it. Right. But there is an issue with that. God has an issue with that. Give me uh, Isaiah 59 and verse two. Bring it Watch up. this, sis. And, and, and I'm not gonna drag it out too long, but I just want to get, to get this point. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse two. Read. But your iniquities, God said, but your sins, read on, have separated between you and your God. You see that? Our sins have separated us from God. Because we call ourselves Mexicans, because we have La Quisiera, or, 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 um, or, or Dia, Dia de la Muerte. You know what I'm saying, sis? We have these days we get separated ourselves from God. Read on. And your sins have hid his face from you. You see, our sins have hid God's face from us. You understand what I'm saying, brother? Our sins have hit God's face from us. When it comes down to it, we don't know our God because we are in sin. You know? You understand what I'm saying, sis? And this is why we're out here. Isaiah 58 verse 1. This is why we're out here. To show our people their sin. And to show them that it is time to come back to our God. You know? Because the nationality that we have is greater than any jewels, jewelry, house, cars, anything that you can get on this earth. Right. Your nationality right. is greater than that. That's Isaiah 58 and verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Read. Cry aloud. See, God commanded us to cry aloud. God commanded us to speak, to cry aloud. That's why we're on the, on the speakerphone right now. Cry aloud, read on. 
Man, man, we ain't out here to spare the feelings of our people, sis. We out here to tell our people you wrong. Right. You in sin. You gotta change. We ain't out here to sing kumbaya, hold hands, right. and tell our people, hey, you know what? God knows your heart. God loves you. Right. When in actuality, yeah, God does know our, our heart. And we're evil as hell, sis. And God, God will kill us. He will put us to death. God hates sin. That's point blank, period. That's right. We don't. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. We don't. And show my people their transgression. You see that, sis? God says, show my people their transgression. Show my people where they wrong at. Show my people their error so that they can come back to me. Right. So that we can now come from the bottom out of the ghettos, right. the projects, the hoods. Bring it out. Becoming first five, last higher. To becoming the best on the world like we used to be. That's right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? Watch this. Oh, uh, you finished with that? Not yet. Read on. In the house of Jacob, their sin. This is the house of Jacob. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This that's the house of Jacob. Right? Not get uh, uh 59 in verse uh, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. So behold, the Lord's hand ain't short. Even though we have committed our transgressions against God and we have offended our God. That don't mean that he can he cannot save us. If we repent and change in our ways, God can save us. Right. Read. That he cannot save. Neither is he a heavy that he cannot hear. You hear that? God sees what we're going through. He hears what we're going through. Right. He just wants us to turn back to him. Not to turn to uh um uh uh, uh what, what's our name? The the the, the false deity. Um uh, uh, who? Mary. Mary. It's, it's Mary and it's, it's, it's St. Paul, St. All these other right. false deities that our our Hispanic brothers and sisters turn to. Right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? Virgin Mary. No. God said don't turn to that. That's an idol. Stop going to them. They, they will not help you. They will only bring you death. I will help you. That's what, that, that's what God is. Read that again. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. That he cannot say, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear. So turn to the one true God and repent and change. And with that, we're gonna break, we're gonna break some laws out for you. We're just gonna break some laws before you before you head out, sis. That that you may that you may please your God. That you may that God may hear who, or that, that you actually want to repent and he and he will help you, sis. His hand is not short. Right. Read. All praises. Titus, give me the book of Titus, chapter two. In verse 9. Now we're going to bring out some laws, sister. You know who you are according to the Bible, right? You're the Israelite. You got a question? Okay. Huh? Okay, you learn how. We got something for you now. You learned you're the Israelite according to the Bible. You learn why we're in the condition that we're in because we broke the commandments of God, right? All right, now let me give you a commandment. Listen to that. Read. Verse, the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse, verse 3. The, the age woman, likewise. Be, be in behavior as becometh holiness, not for a chooser. So listen, it's just, it's, the Bible's talking about the age woman, all right? Talking about, all right, so you're going to be an example to the young kids, right? The younger daughters, all right? Read. Not for a chooser. Not false accusers, read. Not giving too much wine. You can't walk around being a drunk because the, the younger... Be that time, one time. Go to do the room to a two five real quick. Here we get, you got to get some money. Listen to this real quick. All right, cause cause there's some laws. Here's a law for you. Let's come of, straight out the Bible. Listen the to that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, sis, that's the question I got for you. All right, what women wear today that pertains to men? Wait, what? What women? What clothing do women wear today that pertains to men? Okay, okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna go back to that. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. All right, what, be, what would be considered a woman's garment that men wear? That they shouldn't wear? Wait, wait, repeat it. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Bible saying a woman should not wear like that. Okay, okay, now you're getting close, okay? 
There you go. So, can you read? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Okay. If a man put on a woman's garment, the Bible saying he should. Name me some things that, that men wear. Wig, makeup. Heels, what else? What's, what, what's the kind of outfit? What, what would it be called? What else? Dresses. Make it Dresses. Dresses. The man shouldn't wear that. That's the Bible. That's the law. Now read it from the top again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, when we're talking about the woman, what do women wear that pertain to what men wear? Shoes. No. Well, there's some dykes, and they wear like white clothes. So if, if 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 the man shouldn't wear a dress, then the woman shouldn't wear the what? Which is? White if, boxers. Okay, or, if you go to a restroom, you see a sign. Oh, you see a man. Oh, the boy, the girls bathroom, and then the, the men should use the men's bathroom. Wait a minute. Okay, that sign that that's there. The men have what on his sign? Men. You saying what kind of clothing do he have on? If you're looking at that sign, like pants, if you could sure. pants, okay. The women have what on? A dress. A dress. Now, let's go back from the top again. No. Read that. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, what shouldn't a woman be wearing? Jeans? There you go. Pants. Oh, yeah. That's pants. Right. Now, when did the women start wearing pants? In the 19 what? Not, not 2000, right, that's that's nowadays. But there was a time women didn't wear pants. At all. If you look at any history, your great grandma didn't wear pants. At all. So just that's a, a new custom. Right, that's a feminist custom, a feminist movement. Right, the women should, now the Bible is saying, read, read it again. The this woman, is a commandment from God. Read. The, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So sis, with that being said, you should be wearing what? A dress, I'll oh, pray. You should be wearing that. That's a commandment from God. No. All right? That's a commandment from God, because God do what? Give me the book of Proverbs chapter. But, but, it's right, like, right. but sometimes okay. girls don't wear dresses. Okay, so so you're saying there's weirdos, meaning that um, the pants will prevent you from being either touched, raped, or anything like that? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, just even, not even that, just like any comment. Here. Okay, so 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 let me let me ask you this, sis. Um, and what was your name again? Ashley. Ashley. I'm Uriel. So, Ashley, would pants prevent you? What, what special powers does pants prevent someone from actually committing an act? Nothing. Nothing. It's actually worse. And I'm going to tell you why. Right? Give me Leviticus 19 and go to 29. It's actually worse. And I'm going to tell you why it's worse. Because uh, Leviticus 19, where are we at? Where are we at? 29? Go ahead, read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. You see, the Bible says, don't prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read on. Let the land fall to whoredom. Let the land fall to whoredom, read. And the land become full of wickedness. And the land become full of wickedness. So, Ashley, watch this, right? If, by you having on pants and tights and stuff like that, right? Can I not see your shape? I can see everything you have to offer, sis. I can see your backside, I can see your camel toe. I'm gonna be real. Peppers in your draw. I'm gonna be real. And I'm gonna tell you straight how it is. I can see all of that. So it actually makes it worse if by wearing that type of stuff. When you wear that stuff, you, God said don't prostitute your daughters to be to, to be a whore. Right. Because right now what's going on is America teaches our women to wear pants. Right. Apple bottoms, jeans, uh um uh the leggings. I forgot the name of those type of leggings. Yoga pants. Yes. America, America teaches our women to wear this stuff. 
Yep. And, guess, and guess what that does? It rape skyrockets. Dudes that's looking at women just to have sex with you skyrockets. Right. There is no marriage. Marriage don't even matter no more. Right. I don't even want to marry you. I just want to look at you to tell you, come and cut. Let me holler at you. Let me get, let me get you in the room. Right. And then after that, I'm done with you. I don't care what's up here. You understand what I'm saying, sis? So it's a spiritual thing. Like God said, women ain't supposed to be in pants. The pants belong to the man. Right. You understand what I'm saying, sis? So if you have, have you ever heard of the saying? Cause this is a whole nother, this is a whole nother uh, 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 realm as well. Have you ever seen, uh, uh, I wore the pants in the house? What does that mean? That is like the man who the boss. The boss, there you go. So a woman that's in pants is saying what? I am the boss, I am independent, I do me. I am the one that's in charge. You know? When that's why today there's so many single parent households. There's so many kids without a father. The out. woman running them out of the house. Or the dad or the father is just a, a, a rolling stone. Bring it you know, out. Woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. And you, we, we cannot raise a nation like that. You understand what I'm saying? God is raising a nation. Right. Give me Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4 and give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Because when it comes down to it, sis, God said marriage is honorable. It's 4 and 13. I think I said that. So when it comes down to it, marriage is honorable, sis. But you don't make marriage honorable by a woman wet in pants. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible, sis, because de de guess what happens? It's 50-50. The, 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 the husband can't have a say-so unless he talks to the wife. The, the, it's, it's crazy. It's madness. The kids disrespect the parents. The kids don't talk to the mama, and the mama uh, let them actually go through what the dad said no. Right. Dad, get, dad originally said no, but the kids went to the mama to get, to get the yes. It's out of order. Right. God said, no, nah, you can't raise no nation like that. I'm going to give you the instructions. Read. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. You see that? God said marriage is honorable. Right. So the boyfriend and the girlfriend ain't, ain't where it's at, sis. Marriage is honorable. And you, you can't have an honorable marriage if it starts off out of order. Right. You know what I'm saying, sis? Read on. Marriage is honorable in all. In the bed and the fire. God said y'all can do whatever in the bed. As long as it's as long as it's in the laws of marriage. Ain't no three sons, ain't no, ain't no uh, 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 trains going on. Right. None of that happened. And I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it on it. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. You see that God said whoremongers and adulterers, he's gonna judge. He's gonna judge them that's sleeping uh, from woman to woman. Right. And one, every woman sleeping from dude to dude. Oh, I need uh, I need Juan to pay my phone bill. Nope. I need uh, John to pay my rent. I need uh, I need I need uh, 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 Rodriguez to uh, uh, to take care of my groceries. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? That, and, 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 you, you, you see you see the, the mindset of our people right now today is destroyed. So that's why God is bringing the prophets to restore the mindset of our people to right. bring back right. our heritage. You, know? you know what I'm saying? First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. So since wearing pants in the eyes of God is an abomination for a woman. And a man wearing a dress in the eyes of God is an abomination. That's called cross-dressing. What kind of dress do girls wear? Well, we're gonna bring it out for you right now. Since that, you would wear under a dress. You wouldn't wear that out like this. Right. That's underwear, sis. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know? That's underwear. You got everybody looking at it right now. Everybody looking at the goods. They, 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 why, why buy the cow when I can get the milk for free? Mm. You understand what I'm saying, sis? When it comes down to it, I'm talking to you like I'm your big brother. And I don't want nothing to happen to me. That's right. I want you to cover up. That's why I told you. Sis, zip that up. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want these, these men out here just looking at you like a piece of meat. Right. You don't want that, sis. You got a lot of predators out here, just like you said. Right? Read that. The book of 1 Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 9. Read it out. In like manner also, the women adorn themselves with modest apparel. So that but our sisters adorn themselves in modest apparel. Do you know what modest, modest apparel means, sis? Modest means covered up. It is commanded that our, our women cover themselves up. Not showing any food, not showing the rump, not showing any camel toe. You got that McDonald's sign upside down. Cover up, cover up. Right. That's what God is saying, you know? The women are doing themselves in modest apparel. So sis, wearing a dress that covers your shirt, that ain't showing your backside, that ain't showing your, your legs and all that stuff. Because dudes out here are very, 
The demons are real, sis. The demons are real. Right? Uh, you finished with that? Read on. With shame, uh, shamefaceness. So with shamefaceness. That means you ain't in every dude's face. Talking like, like you, you got to put on the woman. Put on the feminine. Right. Put on, put on, put on the uh, feminine. Feminine. That's what I said. I think I said it wrong. Put on the feminine. You know what I'm saying? So when men are talking, you stay out of their face. They, they say something that, 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 that you don't agree with. Whatever it is, yeah. it is what it is. Shame face. Keep your role as a princess of the most high God. Right. You know what I'm saying? Read on. And sobriety. And sober. Because if you're drunk, it's, it's, all kinds of things go down. You know what I'm saying? You wake up next morning in the bed that you don't even know how you got there. No. So God said, make sure you sober. Make sure you stay out of men's face. Right. Make sure you wear clothing that, that, that covers your shape. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth